So we got an announcement to make. We got a huge announcement to make. I know what you're probably thinking. When are you getting married? Yeah, we funny. We know. Is it boy or girl? Hilarious. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but you want to lead the way? Yeah, we're going to wait on that announcement. The big announcement that we got right now is we've decided to co-launch, co-host a podcast it's something I've been thinking about uh, for a while. I actually, uh, the guy that shoots my video, uh, Els, a shout out to Els, told me for about three years to do one. He's like, Omar, you just talk, 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 do a podcast. So I actually came down here to California. My boy Ryan helped set up a podcast. I did like one or two episodes. Then I saw Mike again. It's like being reunited with your long lost love, your true passion. And uh, we're about to do, I was about to do a podcast. I invited Mike on, it went stellar. And I'm like, you know what? That spark is still there. And for uh, an entire year, I've gotten mes daily messages and emails daily. asking me to start a, a new podcast. I had it in the plans. Um, and it was just a matter of finding a co host or finding how I want to execute it on my own. Uh, but naturally, now that we've already recorded a few, yeah, uh, seven. Uh, the two of us together. Uh, Unstoppable on the podcast. It, uh, I'm going to be honest. 100%, uh, yeah, but it also yeah, just turned, uh, we didn't even have to think that much. No. And it just turned into the podcast that I think both of us are not only proud of that and that we're excited that we to want. share yeah. uh, with you guys and hopefully even extend outside of this uh, community, although we love this community. All right, so I think uh, a basic thing, just to give a, a quick preview of the podcast, it's not going to be uh, fitness oriented, but I think a lot of people, it'll be quasi, but uh, we'll definitely expand far beyond that. My problem is I have a short attention span. No Same. shit, you guys probably have realized that. And so for the format of a podcast, I get bored by a lot of hosts yeah. too easily. Yep. This one's kind of like action-packed, raw. Uh, if you yeah. want to see kind of, not our, I don't want to say our true opinions on things, but we're trying, uh, <clears throat> trying to share with you guys knowledge yeah. and information. We're a little bit more reserved. So the analogy is hard uh, for Omar, but for me, uh, no. this is Silent Mike, this is fitness, this is lifting, this is my passion, this is what I coach, this is uh, where I lie my expertise, and this podcast is gonna be more Mike Farr, right. if that kind of makes sense. And same for yeah. Omar, yeah. even though uh, Omar Esau is still gonna be Omar Esau. Yeah. Can, I give, uh, can I give just maybe an example? Uh, if the YouTube videos are kind of like the Brazzers preview. The podcast is the full damn thing. The whole oh, damn so thing. Oh, so this is the paid subscription, but this it's is still the, free. It, but it's still free. So you don't got to pay for shit, but you still get your nut on. Uh, and what we need from you guys right now is to comment below, uh, and please be serious, because we're going to take this into account. Give us your best podcast name Best podcast for us. name. And also, one thing, please, before you give the suggestion, just search if it's already been done. Oh, that would help. Because honestly, we've had two to three names that we've yep. loved that we're like, yep, this could be it, yep. and then we find out it's already been done. So just before you suggest it, Boom. Hit us. And now we're going to hop into your questions on Instagram. Silent Michael 2 ks Omar Esau on Instagram. We're taking your questions, and now we're going to answer your questions. Yeah, man. Here to help you guys out. Okay. That's special. All right. You two is a meal. You <laughs> two is a meal. <laughs> you know, a snack is something, but a meal is divine. Uh, why is Omar not competing? Sorry, I'm just like scrolling What is that? Up. Yeah, scroll away. But uh, No, I was going to say, uh, well, I mean powerlifting and weightlifting. Oh. I am going to be doing a weightlifting meet I'm planning on 2018. <laughs> So one of us got to represent. We both Not try me. to do it, um, but I am planning on doing it. If I was to do powerlifting, honestly, it'd probably consume the rest of 2018. I made a commitment to myself to do weightlifting. I might not, and I won't be honestly great at it, but I follow through on things I do. I said I was going to deadlift 600 pounds. Took me two years of uh, back injuries, came back and did it. Smash it. Here, uh, give me uh, 30 seconds on this one because we can go mega. Uh, could you explain us what uh, is block periodization and how to program it? I like so we can't, yeah. you want me to do it? Yeah, yeah. All right, like so, we, uh, so we can't really explain on how to do it because that's so in depth and that's basically saying like, hey Mike, take your 10 years of programming knowledge and throw it at you. Can't Ma do it. Or make a 20 minute video yeah. in 30 seconds. I, and even a 20 minute video, you can't teach someone how to program per se, um, but there's some basic principles. Uh, block periodization basically means that you're blocking out different phases for different goals. Uh, in lifting, in fitness, in basketball, you can do it in any sport or even life, right? Uh, this month I'm really gonna focus on uh, my kitchen. Uh, I'm gonna make my kitchen nicer. This month I'm gonna focus on my uh, bathroom and make that nicer. This one I'm gonna focus on my windows, make them clean, whatever. Uh, in That's terms of lifting, it's typically uh, hypertrophy, strength, uh, maybe work capacity, maybe general strength, different things of that nature depending on your sport. Um, how to program is very complex. I think if you watch every single video he ever put out and I put out, you might have a good taste and even then, it's still very difficult to explain without applying. Yeah, just think about it like this. Uh, Professor Bor Borshenko to talk about just specifically his uh, program and the programming principles it took him about four to five hours. And that's without him that. uh, defining uh, like terms and things. That's just him yeah, talking just about rolling, Just rolling, yeah, yeah. So yeah, never think that what we say in a few videos like, represents what we think about programming or explains programming perfectly. That is one thing <clears throat> best served for like books and actually reading about it. What uh, and how did you guys come up with the name Kaizen and why? 
Uh, so this is a good question. We came up with the name Kaizen essentially because it represents all of what we're about, myself, San Mike, and Barquan, where we're about that continuous improvement. It's a Japanese term. We decided to spell it a certain way, Kaizen, without the A in it. But all of us on our journey, uh, I see also often on social media, people want that quick buck or that quick transformation or that quick strength gain. And we know from years of experience coaching people, lifting ourselves, that it's about continuous, steady improvement. So not trying to rise fast and quick yep. and then burning out quickly. It's about that continuous improvement towards yourself, towards your lifting in every aspect you do in life. Yeah, and also just not the comparative stuff. Oh, hey, I benched 225 and 15, is that good? Or, oh, hey, I saw so-and-so bench 405. Don't worry about it. If you worry on uh, slowly getting better, chipping away day by day, step by step, uh, you're heading in the right direction and that's kind of what we preach. That's what we live, both in business, life, friendships, family, etc. cetera. Uh, and that's hopefully we, uh, you get it. You might know more about this next one uh, than me. Yeah, uh, CBD oil, do you know anything about it? I honestly don't. What so is that, I don't coconut? either. I was thinking no, no, so oil. CBD oil is no um, one of the main cannabinoids in marijuana oh, okay. uh, or, or, or whatever. I don't know that much about it either. Um, uh, I, I think it's legal in most places because it doesn't have psychedelic effects. And, and, and the new uh, trend right now is that it does help inflammation and things. I've never seen uh, a good study or even uh, someone in this nutrition world talk about it. So we can't really speak on it. I do think it's interesting. Uh, it's an oil that people think has a lot of antioxidants and some things that may help some uh, inflammation, general pains, even, even almost like a, a very mild Advil. Sure. Sure. Um, but we're, uh, I think the science is probably inconclusive and we're definitely it is, uh, Yeah, it's out of our uh, element. I like how you highlighted that question, I didn't mean bro. to, I just clicked yeah, on it. I was gonna say uh, quickly, uh, someone said best exercise for bigger traps and that'd be trend in the glutes. Traps? Yeah, trend in the glutes. <clears throat> um, Androgen we, receptors we when it comes to the house. Uh, uh, oh, uh, Alpha Destiny, you mean? Or oh, uh, no. uh, Trap House? Trap, it's a rap thing. Oh, my bad. I thought, That's right. Yeah, no. Uh, but for traps, I would say there's a, a few things. So if you do heavy pulls yep. over a prolonged period of time, that's good. And also overhead stabilization. So yep. as long as you do overhead press frequently, uh, people ask me about my shoulders, what helped. I was overhead pressing for a lot of 2017, 2016. I was doing uh, overhead press four times at least a week. And then also overhead squats. I'm a shitty weight. Lifter, yeah. So I basically have to use my muscles to stabilize rather than have good form and good positions. Yeah. So that also honestly helps. Yeah, you don't always have to directly hit a muscle or uh, use a muscle through a full range to make it grow. And the traps in particular, like he said, big deadlifts, rack pulls, things of that nature, yeah. uh, stretches and forces it to work itself. Uh, the other thing that I would add uh, that helped me personally is just a heavy, almost cheater, uh, like lateral raises sure. uh, where, yeah, you want to uh, uh, hit your uh, medial delt. Uh, but if I fucking smash on them, then I'm kind of shrugging and, and you can lose a good amount of weight there. I got uh, one mic right here. Uh, the Speedy JP wants to know if you could pick only one powerlifting <laughs> movement to do for the rest of your life and have to give up the other two, what should you pick? Deadlifts. I've answered I, this on a times. Oh, do you? I yeah, actually, I, oh, really? I, I don't think I've answered I would say deadlifts. Uh, although my back's hurt and I'm not deadlifting for the next eight weeks, uh, I would say uh, deadlifts as uh, I think it hits the most muscle groups. Uh, yeah. I can uh, change it in multiple ways. I can do, you know, kind of an RDL and things like that and it's still kind of a deadlift, but. Yeah, I don't, so is it for enjoyment or is it for function? I think for enjoyment. For mine, it would be all of it. Okay, probably, probably. so for enjoyment, I would actually probably pick deadlifts, but actually for function, I would take the squat just because I find if I maintain my squat or I increase my squat, my deadlift goes up, but not the reverse. But you're not allowed to deadlift, so it doesn't matter. No, 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 but I'm saying for just every but your day. But deadlift what doesn't matter, it disappeared. It's, it's you know what? And also, I'll put it this way, I, I would pick a squat, you know why? Because I'm not as proficient at the squat as I am on the right. deadlift and then also the bench press. Sure. So it would be the one I could sink the most amount of hours into and improve. Yep. Uh, doing short, small workouts, but not having to take a rest day then what? I think what my gentleman here is saying is <laughs> what is my man saying here is if he's having small workouts um, like shorter workouts less volume does he not have to take a rest day Right, so you're doing higher frequency, uh, lower total amount of I time guess for not, workout. I don't know if yeah. you're talking about powerlifting. He sounds a little vague, but uh, I think we can roll I mean, there's so many different variables. I think, yes, uh, <laughs> because uh, something simple as playing soccer, playing basketball, where the stimulus you're going through is, yes, very difficult, uh, but it's not progressive overloading you, uh, like a barbell or weights getting heavier, and you can recover from it, right? People, uh, football players do two-a-days. They're running in the morning, and then they're playing football at night so you can recover from such things. If you're doing you know, a body weight circuit, you could probably do it seven days a week. Yeah. Um, if you're power lifting, uh, if you're using uh, dumbbells even, or, 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 or cables or whatever, probably not, uh, it's probably better to rest, I think, almost across the board. Of course, there's different uh, factors involved, but four to five days a week yeah. uh, is gonna work for most people and most goals. 
how to program for squats. That's a good general question. I would say that uh, squats compared, so first I think there is a correlation between your total muscle mass. They found there's a stronger one when it comes to squats and the bench press as opposed to the deadlift. So the deadlift, I think you could train uh, less frequently and with less intensity and get more results. I think you have to do more total reps when you are squatting. I think that's why that uh, Bulgarian like kind of squat every day at various intensities, not necessarily going for a max, can be very beneficial. I do believe in squatting more frequently if it doesn't come naturally, but if you squat more frequently, you have to lower the overall intensity and volume per day and per yep. session that you do. I also do like working up uh, to, let's say, comfortable singles when it comes to the squat, just to get used to it, because I do think, and I find, this is speaking to someone that doesn't squat, doesn't have a great squat, that I need to keep that pattern smooth, and as the higher percentages, kind of like Professor uh, Shaco would say, that at higher percentages, your true form is either like revealed, or you'll quickly see if you've mastered the form or not. So I like to include a combination of high frequency, uh, moderate uh, amount of intensity, so usually training between that 65 to 80%, um, and then a decent amount of volume, so what does that mean uh, per week? Well, about 30 to 50 probably total reps in that uh, range, and then also working up on occasion, maybe once or twice a week to a comfortable single that's between like 80 to 90, uh, maybe like 92.5 or pfft, uh, at, at the most 95%. Yeah, I have a, a very general rule for all lifts, and this is again very general rule for most people. Uh, yeah. Deadlifts once to twice a week. Yeah. Uh, of course, you guys are gonna comment the one person that gets away with three times a week, and yeah. there are some, but once to twice a week. Squats three to four times a week works for most people, uh, and bench also about three to four, maybe even five times a week uh, is kind of the optimal frequency and then volume depending on your uh, stage of lifting, uh, et cetera. Yep, yeah, uh, someone wants to know, opinion on companies like Herbalife, uh, Usana, I think, yeah, I, I don't actually, know, I'm uh, like, just I had kind on, of bro. awkward, uh, you don't know those? I, I, is it a pyramid scheme? So it's kind no? of a pyramid scheme, yeah. and they're kind of like supplements, they're kind of commercialized supplements. Uh, um, look, I'm not a fan of any supplements, uh, I've talked about that many a time here. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that some just uh, do work, and some may benefit me and you guys. Um, if it's for your health, I say try to hunt it down by food first. If it's protein, I say try to hunt it down by food first. Uh, if it's uh, you just have uh, expendable cash that you want to throw around, sure, you can grab some creatine, some caffeine, some things to throw in, um, but I don't like anyone, uh, and if it, <clears throat> I don't like you, I don't like you, uh, and, and, but if it is uh, breaking it down, I would go to a more reputable source, maybe a small business, because I am a small business fan, yeah. um, although they can be sketchy as well, um, just because you know if you're buying your protein from Walmart, chances are it's not uh, exactly Exactly made for us. <laughs> right. Uh, Chris Lugma wants to just say the statement, best bromance of 2017. I was gonna say uh, that <laughs> another question, we got a lot of beautiful comments is, uh, how, beautiful did, comments. how did y'all get so cute? We're just born that way. It's because we're mama's boys. It's just the way that it is. I also think that, uh, uh, not about that, but I think when people talk about bromance or this and that, I think that is something I'm about to plug the podcast one more time because we filmed seven episodes, honestly. Buddy, I, uh, come in 2018 probably. Yeah, Leave yeah, your comments January. below. We need yeah. a name. Yeah, I think, uh, but I honestly believe I am a cocky person in general, but I think it's going to do great because I think I think it's something that's not currently be, uh, being done in the space. People our age, yeah. with our mindset, talking about And things. look, we're not trying to plug away, but here's another one. Uh, when is the Shaco program coming out? Uh, that uh, The goal is for the full program to be released mid-January, but we're going to pre-sale it. Like starting hopefully in December. December. So hopefully yeah. two to three weeks. From Stay when tuned released, yeah. to Instagram and here we'll have it available. Hopefully, guys. Whoa, whoa, I gotta defend my boy, uh, Fat Dan, as they say, who we just hung out yep. with. Uh, someone said, does Fat Dan actually pull hot bitches or is he just a poser with a real No one pulls haircut? bitches, we're talking ladies, it's we're 2017. About, yeah. But uh, what I'd say, like straight up, what uh, people probably don't think, uh, uh, wouldn't realize is Dan does great. That's uh, all I'll say, Dan does very, great. Uh, very That's good all. human yeah. being, uh, yeah. he's very charming, uh, he's very funny, and he's fun to be around. And if you have those things going for you, and he's hard working, he's a hard working cat. If you have those things going for you, uh, you'll probably be all right. Here's a decent one for you. Go. Uh, worst client experience. I have, a, I have a story already. Uh, probably the one that irritated me the most was when I first started lifting, uh, I first started coaching people straight up just because I wasn't used to it. I was told I was someone that did not like getting up early. Like once yeah. puberty hit, I used to get up at 5.30 before puberty, then puberty hit, I'm like, I'm sleeping Are you still 11. going through puberty? Cause you uh, still sleep Yeah, I still in. sleep in. No, yeah, I'm, I'm a grown boy. Um, what I was gonna say is this client I remember, I saw the client one time and they booked in at 6 a.m was their session, and at the time, because oh, I didn't have a lot only, of clients. they only bought one session, they didn't buy a package. No, no, they bought the package. Oh, all right, all right, but, then you but, got a sacrifice. But uh, what happened is, uh, there was a cancellation kind of rule, or like whatever, yeah, where you didn't have to charge the worst. them. Uh, because I was a new trainer, and you want to make a good impression, and my next client was like six hours later, so that Hate means it. if I didn't show up then, yeah. I could have slept in, 
they canceled on me like six or seven times. Yeah. Yeah. Which that's is annoying. Just brutal. That yeah. is that is annoying. Uh, I'm sorry, but I think my top's too really good. Oh, I, I bet. Uh, so uh, same similar situation. I'm probably a year or two into training, uh, personal training in a facility. Uh, for those that never had a personal trainer, um, typically you have one or two meetings before you start to train. Uh, yeah. You have a meeting kind of talking about the packages of selling, uh, what their goals are, yours are, and then you kind of have maybe even a medical one. We had sure. some kind of survey you filled out. Uh, you filled it out, and then we went over the questions. Hey, are you? Does your shoulder hurt? Do you have any heart issues? Did your doctor yeah. have any restrictions or you yeah, on any all medications? All these things. Um, had this lady probably probably in her late thirties at the time. I'm probably twenty. Um, she uh, everything's clear. Uh, you know, slightly overweight, nothing crazy. Oh, no. uh, not not that active, but walked a little bit. Did no she real have a heart attack. No real issues. Uh, no real issues going on. It's it's uh, Saturday, which in the commercial gym world is very dead. It might yeah. have even been Sunday, which is even yeah. more dead. Yeah. It's um, empty. My homie Matt, shout out to Matt Chima who got me on Instagram. I didn't know what Instagram wow. was. He, I just reunited with him. Uh, we worked out the other day, so shout out to my boy Matt. Uh, Matt's in the office. He's he's uh, selling gym membership, so he's in the office just chilling. Yeah. He's eating a donut. Um, we're doing a very simple circuit. This is probably my third session with her. Uh, we're going tricep push down. Right. We're going to a lunge down the uh, strip. Uh, uh, we have an open strip, uh, maybe 20 feet. Nothing sure. insane, right? It's probably eight steps per leg. Yeah. Um, and then from there, I think I had some dumbbells at the end of that, and we're doing some curls or something. Yeah. Right? So you go just upper a full lower, body. Uh, upper lower. Yeah, upper, just a little so full. It's, like, it's a leg yeah. day, and we're just throwing some arms on the end. Uh, towards the end of the lunges, ah, I'm not feeling so good. Like, oh, all right. I sat her down on a machine, you know. Uh, sits on a machine. I uh, turn around to go like grab a water or towel or something. I was gonna Fainted. go mad. Just fell. Head yeah. first into the ground. Uh, I look before even checking uh, pulse, which maybe should have been the first move in um, uh, retrospect. I run, I kick down the door. My homie's Matt's got a donut in his mouth. I said, bro, 911. And then I run back out. And then I'm going to check her pulse. And then she's barely waking up. And oh, I, no. my heart is just, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right? No one's in this the is gym. This ends, yeah. Bro, no one in the gym. Me, no. my homie Matt, who's a joke like me. We're both yeah. pieces of shit. <laughs> yeah. We're both scared. <laughs> this lady's fainted on the ground. And then Face uh, first. she woke up, though, and I sat her down. Then I slowly got her on her bike just to pedal. Was it like iron or blood? Sugar, what was it? So, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so I get her on the bike and she's slowly pedaling. Uh, and I say, Oh man, like, uh, are you okay? She's like, She's like, Yeah, that's why I stopped running. I said, uh, You stopped running? It's <laughs> like, Every time I was running, I would faint. And so I stopped running. I said, Hmm, <laughs> yeah. this meeting we had yeah. two weeks ago, you probably oh, should have on. told yeah. me every time I move fast, I yeah. faint. Yeah. Uh, and you should probably just go to the doctor again because that's not normal. But what happened to her? That's it. Uh, then she never came back. <laughs> No, Maybe she came don't. back for like one more session. Oh man, she was fine. I mean, she's like RPE or percentage. Let's not get into detail on it. it's too complicated. But what yeah, do you like? Uh, what do you like? Uh, uh, if I could control all outside variables, percentage. Uh, I like to be coached with uh, per uh, percentage, and I yeah. personally do coach with percentage. I, I do better with um, percentage. But in my off season stuff, most of my stuff's pretty auto regulated. So if you want to call it RPE, that's fine. Even though auto regulation and RPE are different. No, yeah, I've been down with the uh, mic to chair stuff like RTS. Uh, dude, I've been down with OPP. Yeah, bro, bro like I think I made a video about auto regulation like 2013 or something. Yeah, 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 where, like, of course. I, I think if more people had access to like measure also like bar velocity and other cool things, they could be cool variables. I would love to use a yeah, 10 new unit every day, but I'm not going to spend 200 bucks on it. But, oh, dude, I think and like set it up. Yeah, yeah, and set it up and calculate it. And, uh, what are some preferred exercises to fix a quad imbalance? And we're going to end it on this one. Hit us. Uh, quad, quad imbalance. Yeah, so I'm. Any I'm, imbalance, because they're all going to be. But does that mean asymmetrical or, or quads are weak? Strength. Uh, I'm going to oh, take it as the quads are weak. I was going to take it as asymmetrical. Oh, well, that's easy then. You can just I was, was yeah. going to say, do asymmetrical, because I get that a lot. Like, oh, one arm's bigger than the other, one pec's bigger than the yeah. other. What would you tackle? So often, what is often the uh, case, what's going on? There's one side you're probably more dominant. It's the side that you're more confident in, probably because you're wired just more efficiently when it comes to your nervous system, like when it comes to your brain. So if you're uh, left-handed, like I'm left-handed, that means my left hand or left side, there's a far more Left-handed men are creative thinkers. I've heard that too. Doesn't apply to me. It's on, it's uh, on but, your Tinder. But uh, <laughs> my Tinder just says, uh, hi. Left, left hand. Hi. <laughs> um, but I was going to say that... Uh, what ends up happening, you naturally become stronger because you're more coordinated. So what you gotta do, you gotta work on trying to activate, I hate that phrase, but what that means is some unilateral work starting on that side, you can even do more warm up sets. So if you do walking lunges and you use 60 pounds or Bulgarian uh, split squats and you work up to like 100 pounds, you do a couple sets just warm up, starting on your weak side, whatever the weak side is, trying to feel that muscle activate. When people say like, oh, I can't feel my glutes activated. It's not an issue of them not doing work. They're, they're, just, they're not literally sleeping. They're just, yeah. just, they're just not working as hard as they could be, right? Think about like doing kind of like a half curl or a full, uh, full curl. So you want to think about maximally trying to contract the muscles. 
Yeah, I think that's gold. Uh, unilateral movements in general, not to stay away from the barbell, but just to do those extra after perhaps. This is most common uh, in uh, maybe super advanced bodybuilders who uh, or are looking at uh, minute details yeah. or the beginner who everyone is a little bit imbalanced. Yeah. Uh, one thing I would add to that is like a mobility or a technique thing. So if you're benching and you're like this, uh, you know, like one shoulder shrugged and one's kind of down and back or whatever, of course you're gonna have a balance. This, yeah, yeah. maybe, uh, you know, we're like, this delt's gonna get a little bit bigger and this pec's gonna sure. get a little bit bigger. So unilateral work, make sure that you're even. Something like a tempo lift uh, with the barbell can force you to be more even. Yeah. Uh, same thing with your leaning either side. Uh, you guys know what it is. Comment below with the podcast name. It's coming soon. Obviously, it's coming. You know this guy, Omar Isoff. All this stuff will be in the description and hopefully once we get a name we'll get the url and we'll get these things set up so you guys can be the first to know when the podcast is dropping appreciate you so uh leave your comments below the podcast is coming we just need your help to find a dope name yeah. we both like kind of uh creative names but we don't like anything too crude or to the point yeah. so get creative uh get your mind the bang working. bus podcast all that uh we're yeah. also going to get the url right away so you guys will be the first to know yeah you know who it yeah. is omar and, Yeah, and are you guys excited if you are excited make sure to like the Damn video give it what what's a good number two two thousand likes let's get 2k if you for want the, the 2k 18 podcast takeover. takeover oh it's gonna happen man bye <laughs>